Good morning. Today I am here again with another session and today we are going to do a chapter named Chandini from class 7 NCRT book and Alien Hand. If we talk about the title of this story Chandini, you all must have heard this word before. What reminds you this word, simple word Chandini? Obviously, Chandni was related, like if we talk about entertainment, then film Chandni was very famous. Chandni, if we consider it as one Hindi word, Chandni also means moonlight. If we talk about this chapter, Chandni, so as you can see this image drawn on the board, can you guess? Yes, this word Chandni is associated with this coat. What all is described in this chapter? We are going to study in detail. Let us first know the characters of this chapter Chandni. Abu Khan and he finally bought 
a young goat and he named this young goat Chandni. Chandni means moonlight. Why this name was given to Chandni? Because Chandni was white, white as snow. So he named this young goat. One important reason why he bought a young goat because he thought that this young goat would stay with him for a long time. He did the same thing. He was taking care of this young goat. He used to narrate stories about other goats, what all happened with those pets. He described the story to this young goat Chandni. Then Chandni used to listen with interest. Whatever stories were told by Abu Khan, she was very much interested in those stories. Few years passed away. Now Chandni, when Chandni saw the hills, she was also getting that insight. She also wanted that freedom. She also wanted to enjoy the pleasure of hills. And the reason behind, we all know, nobody is willing to live in bondage, to be in imprisonment. And this young goat Chandni, she was also having the same desire. He was this Chandni was actually tied with a rope also by Abu Khan. Why? Because the Abu Khan wanted to protect Chandni from this old wolf. But slowly and slowly, this desire, it was increasing. And Chandni finally spoke to Abu Khan. I want to go to the hills. Abu Khan was surprised. He was holding an earthen pot and it just fell. It was broken into pieces because Abu Khan was shocked that Chani wants to go to the hills. He tried to convince her. Going to hills means actually death. He told her about this old wolf. But Chani was not at all satisfied. She wanted to go to the hills. Then Abu Khan locked Chani in a small hut so that he can save Chani. But he forgot to close the window that was at the back. And Chani used this small window, a passage to escape from that small hut. She went to the hills. She was quite happy. It was like a feeling. She met her parents. Same feeling she had when she went to the hills. She enjoyed a lot. Even she met few wild goats. They told Chani, why don't you accompany us? Follow us. But Chani, she said no. A polite no. Why? Because she wanted to enjoy her freedom all herself. That is why she rejected. Then, when the rays of the sun disappeared, total darkness and she could heard some sound. And what was the sound? Sound was of the wolf. She remembered the entire story told to her by Abu Khan. Now she decided, should I escape from here? No, I should face him. Then there was a fight throughout the night between Chandni and the old wolf. This Chandni was having two horns. She decided to defend herself. She decided to fight with the wolf. And when throughout the night there was a fight between the wolf and later on what happened in the morning? Chandni was lying on the ground. She was soaked in blood. 
and other creatures, other birds were debating on this issue, who is the winner? For everybody, wolf was the winner. But then, a wise bird, she commended, no, Chani is the winner. And here, the story ends. Do you understand what actually happened? We all know that it seems Chani died after a struggle with this old wolf. But still, she is the winner because she accepted the challenge. She tried her level best to achieve freedom. And we can relate this thing with our own freedom struggle. We all were enslaved by the British. And we all know what is freedom actually. What is that feeling? And that is what Chalini thought. And she wanted freedom. Even that freedom was for a short while. But she enjoyed to breathe in freedom. To breathe where there are no bondages. So even we have done one story which was related with the same concept of freedom that was I want something in a cage. And friends, you can relate both these two stories with freedom. So the main motive of the story or I should say moral of the story is all about freedom. So, this is the main moral, this is the main motive of the story Chandani, which highlights about freedom, importance of freedom. So, this is all for today. Thank you so much. Have a good day.